But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Let me guess, we're doing what? Moon landing myths? We are! Perhaps one of the biggest myths of all is that NASA faked the moon landing and perpetrated a hoax on the American people. So pervasive is this myth that 20% of Americans today still believe it. And we're taking it on. To Apollo hoax advocates, this shot was taken in a studio because the shadows are not parallel. Supposedly, that's something that could only happen with multiple light sources. We've demonstrated here two shadows which are parallel from a single light source which we've made look far off parallel using only the topography that they're sitting on. And I guess that means it's busted. Totally busted. You can achieve shadows that do not look parallel from a single light source. Then there's this image of an artfully lit astronaut. Conspiracy cheerleaders claim if he really was standing in the shadow of the moon module, you wouldn't be able to see him so clearly. The myth here is that you would not be able to see this astronaut this clearly unless there was a secondary fill light illuminating him. Because he's in the shadow and there's only one light source on the moon, he would by definition be black. Our photo here proves just the opposite. That with a single light source with surface of the same reflectivity as the moon, our astronaut is clearly visible, busted. As far as I'm concerned, they went to the moon. Conspiracy 
theorists believe the vacuum in space means these footprints are fake and that flag shouldn't be flapping. Busted. Busted. Busted.